launch cost and where is your cost you just launch ah yeah launch cost click on that okay now i want to show you how to view the cisco uh questions and then you can see the feedback whether you did it correctly or not okay if let's say you did it wrong then it will give you some explanation okay wait wait so the left hand side here the left hand side they will have an assignment uh, link yes click on that okay then your chapter one go to your chapter one scroll down and look for your chapter one exam chapter one yeah click on it okay then after that when it lot you can just go and tap assessment okay tap assessment all right click and then just continue okay then begin assessment now from here it's only have 24 questions and you can just read uh do one by one okay let's say you just simply tick uh, this, this is just a demo session. I just want to show you how you will come up. You choose two. Uh, okay, then which of the bandwidth? Okay, just, just, uh, then go, go to the next, the next, and so on. Okay, go to the next. Uh, go next again. Okay, where is internet? Next, next, next. Okay. Okay, never mind. Just a demo. Then we quickly jump to the last question and submit. Okay, you just submit. Uh, so at the end you will have a 10 times to uh, to do this okay and uh, once you have done you can just press the submit button uh, this is a drag and drop lah. okay chiyon done just directly uh, uh, submit press the submit button okay now once you submit you just grade your assessment grade your assessment okay now uh, be careful of this uh. okay once you grade the assessment this is the marks that you have percentage and don't be too sad because you will have another nine uh, nine times to do it. okay? Every chapter, they will have 10 times, 10 attempts to do each of the chapter, okay? You see other, uh, I, under the item feedback, click on the item feedback link. Item feedback. Yes, click on that. Ah, so can you see that? Um, Chiyo, can you mani uh, maximize it, your screen? Uh, okay, thank you. So you scroll down. You will see that the one that you answer just now is in the gray color. You answer the first question is less of centralized administration. So the answer given to you is tick green means that it's correct answer. The rest of it you didn't answer. Uh, so that is how uh, it gives you the feedback. And then do you aware that there's an explanation below that? Because network device and dedicated server are not required, blah, blah, and so on. They also have the explanation. Ah, so this is how you uh, treat this chapter one as your revision as well. Once you study the, the, the lecture slides and then you go and take the exam and then you re take again until you understand the whole concept. Then you go for chapter two, you take the chapter two exam, blah, 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 and so on. Okay, so this is how you do your uh, NetaCAD exam. So you don't have to go to ask Google. Everything you can just feedback to here. I mean, uh, to refer to here. Then if let's say the second time you type again, it's the same question, okay? But just that the sequence is different. Uh, so you, I'm very sure that after the third times onwards, everybody is getting 100 over 100. Okay, so that's how you do uh, the NetaCAD assessment. Uh, okay, thank you.